China may not be best known as a soccer nation, but one of its teams is showing real promise with the help of two Australian recruits. Sydney brothers Joel and Ryan Griffiths are playing for Team Beijing in China's National Soccer Championship. And although the brothers have become stars in the Chinese capital, they found out that playing outside Beijing could be outright dangerous. China correspondent Stephen McDonald reports from Xinjiang. <laughs> If China is the world's underperforming soccer nation, then Beijing is China's underperforming team. The boys in green have never won, but now they have two secret weapons. Joel and Ryan Griffiths from Sydney's Sutherland Shire have injected some desperately needed international skills into Beijing, and this could be their year. I called a lot of my friends and I said, "Look, if we win it, you're going to have to get over here because it's going to be it's going to be crazy." Chinese soccer is known for its match fixing and ill discipline. Players and coaches smoke and drink. The fans generally don't have much faith in them. But there's another developing problem: supporters are becoming more violent, requiring a massive security presence to keep them under control. You know, you try and block out so much in a game, but.、Uh... You know, I have witnessed a couple of、um, hairy incidents. When Beijing travelled to Tianjin this week, their own supporters were advised not to come. In the dying rounds of this competition, tension is on the rise. A total of six teams can win, and the fans are urging them on with a great deal of enthusiasm. But that enthusiasm can turn ugly. The Beijing players were pelted with bottles, cigarette lighters, and packs of cards. They had lasers shone in their faces, and after a nil-all draw, protected their heads as they ran off the field. For two hours, the team couldn't leave the stadium, as thousands of police and riot police kept Tianjin fans at bay. Just three rounds to go, and the pressure here is definitely on. Stephen McDonald, ABC News, Tianjin.